Look at this photograph. The history of the invention of photography. Alright, so the history of the invention of photography. Ibn al Haytham, Nifor Nipis, Heliography, Pinhole Camera, and the Camera Obscura. But what do all of these have to do with the history of photography? Basically, a lot in everything. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Back in the good old day of a long time ago, before our time in the 1100s, there was a man named Ibn al Haytham, a mathematician from Iraq who was also considered the first scientist. He created the camera obscura, a very dark room with a small hole in the wall. In the opposite side of the hole, an image would appear from what was in the hole on the opposite wall. It was shown inverted and laterally transposed. This later led to the invention of the pinhole camera, a smaller version of the camera obscura, which let light travel into its hole. Many centuries later, an expert on light named Joan Zon wrote about the camera obscura, and in 1685, he proposed the design for the first handheld reflex camera, which would take 150 years to become a reality. Joseph Nicifor in a piece is an important name as well. He was a Frenchman who was interested in lithography, a method of printing with oil and water, except he didn't exactly have the artistic talent for this. So, he officially created heliography in 1822, with attempts starting in 1816. Heliography, or sun drawing, is considered the first photographic method. If you've ever burned ants or snails alive, the process is pretty similar. The process used bitumen of Judea, a light sensitive asphalt, as a coating on glass or metal. One would hold the glass up to the sun and burn where you wanted to. In 1826, Napis took the first photograph. In 1829, Napis would work with Louis Daguerre a French artist and photographer, to experiment and refine the process of taking photographs. In 1833, Nepis had died, leaving Daguer to continue the process and develop the daguerreotype, the first publicly available photographic method, and was the most common for about 20 years. In 1840, William Henry Talbot created the calotype process when he discovered that an exposure of a few seconds leaving no visible trace on chemically treated paper, left a Latin image that could be brought out with gallic acid. He had also created paper negatives, which was a paper treated with paper salts, and were used in a camera obscura. Another jump about 48 years in 1888, Kodak sold their first commercial camera. First created by George Eastman in 1885, these cameras were simple to use. Eastman had bought David Houston's patents for roll film and went further. This started the motion picture film, used by early filmmakers and even Thomas Edison. When on the market, the camera contained a 100 exposure roll of film that used paper negatives. In 1923, the very first instant camera with a portable dark room was invented by Samuel Schlafrock, although it never exactly caught on. In 1947, Edwin Land, the inventor of Polaroid, created an instant camera. It was originally known as the Land Camera and contained a roll of positive paper with a pod of developing chemicals at the top of each frame. By the late 90s, Polaroid became the top-selling camera brand in the U.S., but in the early 2000s, Polaroid had stopped making the instant cameras to focus on selling digital ones. Nowadays, digital cameras are very popular, but so are instant cameras as well. Some people still enjoy using a Polaroid camera just for the sake of it. Photography has been around for thousands of years. It's been used to record historical events with photographic evidence. If we didn't have photography, we wouldn't even have our baby pictures or even be able to watch movies. We'd have to draw every single frame and then it'd just get boring. Had photography never been invented, Nobody would know whether or not the Popeye's chicken sandwich was being sold unless you went to it a few times a month. Photography is the reason they're all sold out. And this is why photography is important. Not exactly for the sake of Popeye's, but for everyone. History even. History has been made and told easier with the invention of photography. And that is why photography is important. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. The end.